Well, the movie Priest in 3D opened this past weekend, and last Friday, our own Gordon Keith sat down with the hero of the film, Paul Bettany. Well, today he chats with the villain, Carl Urban, in this awkward interview. It is a soulless creature to be eradicated. And I have seen the soul of the vampire. And let me tell you, it is far more pure than that of any man. Now you ask me what I am. I am the bringer of the tide. Gordon Keith here with another awkward television interview, this time with the even-tempered and open-minded and handsome Carl Urban. Carl, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you very here. much. Uh, now, in this film, Priest, uh, you uh, play a guy who is invincible all the way up until the moment that he's... Not. Blown up by an explosive-laden <laughs> motorcycle. Hey, so not giving anything away. Not giving here. anything away here. Yeah. But it basically, is it's like you're a member of cast member of Jackass. You know, you're just invincible until that last moment, and then hit. Now, uh, did you get injured at all during the filming? Uh, no, no, I didn't actually. It didn't sustain. I, I injured people, but I wasn't injured myself. Didn't get hit in the groin, pull a hammy. No, nothing like. Didn't even get a spank. Hmm. Now, what kind of fake teeth were you wearing? Uh, well, they weren't fake, actually. I took fluoride tablets for about three months, and uh, tooth they, broke yeah, them they 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 just started yeah, growing. You know who ought to wear fake teeth is that uh, Steve Buscemi. You ever seen that guy? What's going on with those things? Uh, I yeah no, you know I haven't caught his, but he's got some gnashes, doesn't he? Oh yeah, I mean you're, it looks like he lost them all in a boating accident, like a three-year-old glued them back in or something. He's got great teeth. Oh, well, okay. We have different reviews of his uh, dental care there. Uh, the vampires in this film, obviously, am I giving anything away there? I don't think so. No, uh, no. The advanced word is there's vampires. It's, it's so. That's the word. But they're different vampires than we're used to. Right. Um, so if I were to get you to rank the types of vampires, do you go with the kind of the insect-like eyeless ones in this one? Do you go with uh, the dreamy Rob Pattinson type count from Sesame Street, which is... Which kind do you prefer? The Count from Sesame Street. I, I knew I knew I didn't think of that until right now. Yeah. That that's uh, that's a good one. Yeah, numerical puppets are yeah. kind of my favorite vampires. Uh, uh, but the vampires in our film are creatures. They're they're something that they're, they're really they're beasts. You Very know? disturbing. Yeah, they're scary, and I think that's kind of cool. I think that we need a little bit of a wake up call. Everyone's, you know, been seeing all these these you know handsome young guys. You know, doing this uh, sexy vampire thing, so we thought we'd uh, slap him out of it. It's the great Carl Urban from the film Priest. And you're Go watching it. Awkward! You're watching awkward television. How about a hearty handshake that we'll freeze frame on? <laughs> <laughs>